Now that you have adding integers down, let's look at subtraction using the algebra tiles. When I think about subtraction, I think about taking something away, like with the problem negative 6 minus negative 4. To solve this problem using algebra tiles, I would start out by laying out 6 negative tiles, and then I would subtract or take away 4 negative tiles, leaving me with 2 negative tiles. But pulling out tiles every time I need to solve a problem is not practical. So let's look at another way of thinking about subtraction. In algebra, we use the rule adding the opposite property of subtraction. And it says that subtracting a number is the same thing as adding the opposite of that number. So let's go back to negative 6 minus negative 4. I could think of that as negative 6 plus the opposite of negative 4, which would be positive 4. And using the rules for addition, I know that negative 6 plus 4 is equal to negative 2. In both cases, the answer was negative 2. And we can see that negative 6 minus a negative 4 is equivalent to negative 6 plus 4. Let's look at a few more examples using both the takeaway model, using my tiles, and the adding opposite property of subtraction using pencil and paper. What if I had the problem 3 minus 7? I would start off with 3 positive tiles, but since I don't have 7 positives to take away, I'm going to be inserting 7 zero pairs into the problem because 3 plus 0 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 is still equal to 3. Now I have 7 positives I can take away, leaving me with the problem 3 plus negative 7. And using my adding rules, I get negative 4 as my final answer. Now I'm going to use the adding the opposite property, 3 minus positive 7. Well, the opposite of positive 7 is negative 7. So the problem becomes 3 plus negative 7. Wait a second, I've seen that before. That's what I got when I was using my tiles. And in this case, just like with the tiles, the final answer is negative 4. So by looking at subtraction as adding the opposite of a number, I can solve the problem without using my tiles. Let's look at one last situation. I have negative 2 minus a negative 6. Again, I start by laying out two negative tiles, and since I don't have six negative tiles to remove, I'll need to add six zero pairs. And after that, I'll remove the six negative tiles, and that would leave me with negative two plus six. And when I simplify that, I get four. Again, I could have just added the opposite of negative six, which is positive six, and that would have given me negative two plus six, which equals four. While I like using the tiles to see what's going on, it's not practical with large numbers, so usually we use the adding opposite property just so we can do the problem on paper quickly and easily. Now it's your turn to try solving some problems.